Let's do some handstands today. There's a lot of action that needs to be involved when we're doing handstands. And just to kind of give a little breakthrough of all of that, we need to be able to learn to activate the abs fully, the legs, the arms. So pretty much the entire body is in activation. I like to start my handstands in a downward facing dog. So we're gonna start there. Hands flat to the floor. Again, we start in plank pose just to check in with our dog. Press back into downward facing dog. Again, arms are straight, fingers are spread wide. Now, if you notice my fingertips, I don't know how close you can see them, but if you notice my fingertips here, they're turning white. I'm pressing them into the floor so much that we're kind of uh, clawing into the ground in a way. You start by raising the heels high, and then keep on the tippy toes, but start to walk the feet forward towards the center. Okay? Once I'm here, you're going to notice my hips are lifted high, my belly's pulled in tight, and I'm pressing through with my hands. Again, I'm pressing through so much with the fingertips, they're actually turning white into the floor. Raise one leg up to the sky. Make sure that leg is not opening up. So we close off the hips so pinky toe, uh, toes point down towards the floor. Again, tippy toes of the foot that's on the floor. Arms are straight, like I'm trying to press the floor away from me. Putting a little bend in the knee of the foot that's on the ground. And then I just give it a little hop. Maybe it sticks maybe it comes down. I want you to keep in mind that to be playful with this. So maybe your hop is just an inch off the ground. Keep in mind as soon as that foot comes up, even if it's just for a moment, you're in a handstand. <laughs> okay, so we want to try to bring these together. I think a lot of people, they end up getting a little bit fearful when they play with handstands because they think they're going to be flipping over. So what I like to do is have one leg that's going to be lifting to the sky and the other leg that's kind of hovering back a little bit. With the leg hovering back a little bit, it gives you a little bit of space so when you fall, you just bring your foot back to the floor instead of flipping back over. So if you notice here, my lifted leg is gonna be my right leg. I'm bending the left knee, feel a little hop. If you notice my left leg, is basically staying at a bit of a 90 degree angle. It's not necessarily raising all the way up. I'm staying here until I find the balance. Once I have the balance, then I can focus on raising the leg. Pressing through with the hands, arms are straight. My alignment here, all my joints are in line. So I have my wrists, my elbows, my shoulders, my hips, my knees, and my ankles all stacked up. And when it's time to come down, one leg just slowly lowers back down to the floor. Again, we're keeping that other leg there as a bit of a counterbalance. Legs are kind of coming into a bit of an L shape. And it's that L shape that's gonna keep us so, if we're flipping over anywhere, it's we're flipping back onto our feet instead of collapsing over. And some of these, it's just going to take some time for you to find out how much of a push or how much velocity you need to give yourself in order to find the post. But start off light. Eventually, you want to get to a place where we're just floating our way up. Again, one more time. Go downward facing dog. We sneak the feet forward on the tippy toes. You got to keep pressing through with the hands, palms flat to the floor. One leg lifts up. The leg that's lifted is straight and strong. Little bend in the knee that the foot's on the ground. And I give it a little hop. If I didn't quite get it on that one, I give another little hop. And we play with it. Once we're here at this level, we can slowly start to raise the legs up to the sky to find full connection. And then feet slowly lower down. So take the time, play with the pose, and just do baby steps. Okay, maybe the first time the foot only comes off the ground an inch, but eventually that's gonna start to grow. Maybe it comes off two inches or three inches. Maybe it comes all the way up into that L. And then maybe that L comes all the way up into a handstand. All right, guys, let me know how it goes. For more tutorials, subscribe below. And for access to over 200 yoga, fitness, meditation, and breathwork videos, head to feelingmoved.com to become a member.